everybody, it's Crazy Fan Girl Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, we are going to be watching the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and it is obviously the first episode of the last season. Um, I'm pretty sure it's season seven. Yeah, season seven. So, um, it's very exciting, and I did indeed buy Disney Plus because, I mean, I looked at it and I was like, hmm looks cool and then I went back and I was like oh shit wait like I could watch Marvel I can watch all the documentaries I want to watch I can watch Disney so yeah that's kind of like what sold me on it really in all honesty um but anyway we are gonna jump straight into this I can't remember exactly where we left off in the Star Wars universe in terms of the Clone Wars I just remember that it was Yoda and he just saw like a lot of things that were happening in the future especially stuff to do with Anakin and stuff to do with, like, the future of the Jedi. Um, I can't remember anything else. I probably should have gone and watched all the episodes again. But, um, yeah, probably in the next few days I'm gonna just rewatch it. But, yeah, just a quick note. I'm sorry I'm a bit late to the whole, like, episode. Because I knew it was coming out, but then I had a birthday to go to. And I was like, priorities. <laughs> so now, finally, I've had some free time. And I've kind of, like, set up everything as well. Because I want to use the mic, obviously, properly. I want to do my setup properly. But anyway, we're going to start off. We're going to do this. And I'm very excited. So let's just get to it. Please work. Because sometimes the internet cuts out in my room. So <laughs> hopefully... Oh, okay. Never mind. It works. No, I don't want to skip the intro. <laughs> nice. Okay. Wait. Oh! <laughs> This is starting from the very beginning, like season one. No, I don't want to start from season one. I thought this was the episode I clicked on. Never mind. Where is it? There it is. Internet, please don't do me. For a second, that's why I also... Isn't it supposed to be the other logo? But yeah. Ah, there we go. No, but I thought that spider guy died, like, a couple of seasons ago. But anyway, he probably survived then. Or maybe it's a different guy. Compromising our entire reserve fleet. On the interruption Looks so good. Rexia has a good theory on why we keep her. Uh, my playbook. My concern is that Rex is one of our best. If the droids can learn to defeat him, we may all be vulnerable. Uh-oh. What do you propose? Rex is the best that they have. Rex and me take a small squad. Speak, Anakin. I want to hear your voice. Rex, is there anything else? <laughs> no, General. Oh! <gasps> Anakin, do not question Rex! Are you kidding me? Oh, but, yeah. So much stuff happened in the last seasons. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Bringing so many memories back. Oh. Huh? That's not possible. He died in the Citadel. They're all old battle plans Echo and I drew up together. Oh. Rex, I hear what you're saying. I need you to be focused on this. I, I know. I know. Don't worry. Yeah, this is the first time, like, Rex is kind of like... Because usually he's the one who's always, like, what squad are you taking? On, on point. 99, eh? Right. Nice touch. They call themselves the Bad Batch. Oh, yeah! I think there was that Clone 99, that other one. <laughs> yeah, they all look very different, so they're the ones with the defects. So yeah, it has to be... Well, I'm guessing that squad was kind of like named after... Yeah, that one clone who's called Clone 99, I think that was his name. And he like sacrificed himself to help those guys when they were... In that like station where the, that's where the clones were made. Imagine if Echo is alive. I'm trying to remember the one that had the defect. Like, not the defect, but they called it a defect. But I'm trying to remember the guy that, like, you know, he kept, like, hearing stuff and he was, like, um, like, tr wait, hold on. I'm just stopping a bit. But he was, like, trying to stop them and he captured Anakin and Rex. And, oh, that episode broke my heart. I can't remember exactly what that guy's name was. I think it was either Heavy? It's not Echo, I know that. But I remember, I think, I'm pretty sure it was Heavy. I can't remember. God damn. I need to go back and watch everything because, especially the last few seasons have like that, like, um, like the highest stakes and there is so much stuff happening with the clothes. So, yeah, I need to go back and watch. Uh-huh, yeah, that's him. He's just turned... 
turned into the Winter Soldier. <laughs> General something. I can't remember his name. Oh, it's a spider. Yuck. Listen up. We have to move out. Commander Cody's in no position to move. Already called an evac. Kix will stay with Cody until it arrives. I'm in charge now. And I've got a plan to get into that cyber center. If your plans are so good, why did Commander Cody have to call us in? You can't talk to Captain Rex like that. Says who? Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, but also, if they use Rex's thing, then they'll immediately know that he's there. Oh, so good. Even sometimes, like I said this all the time with film or video games, like the lack of music always makes it better as well. You have to know when to keep it silent. This is one of those moments! Oh. Miss this. Back at the crash site. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you keep an eye on those incoming separatist forces. I want to know when they reach this out. Echo won't be there though. I mean, I keep bringing up Echo because I want to know if it's true or not. So would he be there? I don't know. Working for the separatists, just to maybe protect himself. He can't come back to the. Get me in contact with the cyber center at once. Okay, who's at the cyber center? Have all droids on an attack is coming. An attack is coming. Where's the <laughs> This is strange. It's not a program. It's a live signal from another planet. Skako Minor. What is that? It sounds almost almost human. <laughs> Human? What? You guys are being really cryptic. Give me the answer. It's Echo. So it is Echo. But he's on another planet? Why would he do that though? Oh, he doesn't seem very happy about that. That means that's probably a very good connection they have. That number, Cap. What did it mean? CT1409. That was Echo's number. He's alive. Uh oh! Ah, oh, of course they end it now! How long did the episode go for? Oh! Only like 23 minutes? Okay. God damn. What a way to start <laughs> with the fact that Echo's still alive. Um. Okay, gotta start off quickly. So we started off obviously talking to Anakin and this window. So that was interesting. At the same time, I was kind of like, why? Like Anakin like was like looking at Rex like, like, are you, like, the, the traitor or something? Like, or a traitor? And I was like, bro, you've been, like, with Rex, like, since the very beginning. Why are you, like, questioning him? Um, so that was a bit annoying. Or, <laughs> or I'm reading into it too much, and he's kind of, like, wanting to ask Rex, like, what's on his mind in a way. Because Anakin is kind of a lot more... Miley? Yeah, there he is. Wait, man, I'm not finished yet. But anyway, as I was saying, so, but yeah, um, Anakin is a lot more respectful to the clones than, like, a lot of the other, like, people in the series. Um, so, that's probably another thing that he was doing. But it was also really interesting how, like, Rex opened up to Cody and he was the vulnerable one. Because usually, Rex isn't, Re Rex is the one who always puts everybody in their place. So, whew, this is annoying because he's right, he's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I put him outside the room because I can't think. But again, 
like Cody's usually the one that sometimes questions everything, but Rex was the one who's like being really vulnerable and questioning things. So that was really interesting to see because of his character. He's usually the really stoic one, the one who's always putting people in their place. So that was really interesting. And I hope we get to see more of that because obviously it will because Echo's alive. I need to go back and watch and see what happened to him because I know that I think he no, he didn't disappear, but like he like died apparently. In one part. I need to go back and have a look at that. But if he's doing it, like, well, if he is, or, like, the fact that he is doing it, I wonder why he's doing it. Like, is it because he feels like he's been betrayed somehow by the clones in some way for not coming back for him or something? So that's why I'm very interested to see what happens in the next episode. So that's going to be really interesting. And I wonder what the Jedi will kind of say. And even Cody, like, once he's kind of, like, recovered, what they'll think if they find out that Echo's still alive. Um, so that's going to be, like, a really interesting kind of concept, especially for Rex, like, wondering why, like, Echo's doing it. But also, I think, I think this season, especially because in the previous seasons, I remember a lot of the clones were, like, questioning their, like, their position and, like, like, what, how they were actually helping in the war, like, whether it was making it worse and stuff like that, or, like, you know, reconsidering, like, what they should do with themselves. Like, you saw a lot of a few of the clones kind of, like, turned bad, not only because of the chip that a few of them had, but because of the fact that that they were just, like, questioning their own moral character. And you saw that with Rex. Oh, damn, I can't remember what season it was, but he got injured, and then he got left at, like, a farm, and then there was, like, another, like, um, clone there, but he had, like, obviously given up his position and stuff like that. So that was really interesting, and, like, for Rex especially, because Rex is so, like... Mm, macho and stuff like that and like so like authoritative about like clones so I hope we get to see a lot more with Rex this season and I think we obviously are especially starting off on a tone like this um and I, I really enjoyed this episode it went so quickly so it was like oh oh we're done okay cool um I'm gonna have to get used to doing these episodes one by one because and every week um oh, god damn I'm excited though because this was a good kind of like topic to start off I think with the season that we're going into especially because it's like obviously touching upon stuff that happened in the movies as well so it's a good connection to that and I'm excited to see like what else happens. Thank you guys so much for watching this reaction I hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on the first episode of season seven. I enjoyed it. I would have liked a little bit more because there was a lot of battle like sequences which is fair enough that's Star Wars and and the Clone Wars especially but I hope, like, in the next episode we get more, like, dialogue and we get more, like, like, talking about, like, what's going on and stuff like that. I hope we get more of that. I also will say, like, I'm sorry about this episode being later than the others. I'm going to try and get them out, like, on Saturdays and stuff like that, like, when after they come out or even on a fr I think they came out on Friday, I think. I can't remember. But whenever the episode comes out, I'm going to try either get it out on the day or the day after, so... That's going to be a much more better sequence than the one that I started off today. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, Mango, out. Woo!